Hi, I wanted to share with everybody today my war room. I wanted to share with you where I go out and pray and seek God and just share a prayer with y'all that is in my heart that I do most of the time every day and have some explanations of what I'm praying for too. I have been seeking God out in the forest since I was 13 years old, horseback. And that's what I'm doing today. Me and my steed, trusty steed, this is Casanova. And he's a real trooper. Sometimes you're gonna hear me fussing at him in the background because he likes to stop and snatch a bite. But anyway, this is where I have been able to seek God and find God for years. I can just see his power out here in the forest among the trees and just, I don't know, I just get off on this. So anyway, this is the way I start off praying. I start off by addressing the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And I, I pray to God, I say, Lord, I come to you in the name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Father, I just want to thank you, praise you, and worship you. I start off by worshiping him because it says that we enter into his courts with thanksgiving and praise. And so that's what I'm doing is I'm thanking him and I'm entering into his courts. And first of all, I want to pray for all men. Lord, I lift all men up to you and I ask you to bless them. We are exhorted in 1 Timothy 1 to pray for all men. And that's the first thing I do. Because it says, if we do, we'll have a peaceful existence. So, Father, I thank you for all men. I lift all men up to you. I ask you to bless them. Secondly, Lord, I pray for all kings, all rulers, all authorities of all nations and countries everywhere. Lord, I lift these people up to you. I ask you to bless them. Bring all men into the knowledge of the truth of your Son, Jesus Christ, so we might have a more peaceful existence. Father, I thank you and praise you and worship you. I thank you, Father, for your abundance of mercy and grace. And I thank you, Father, for your wise counsel. I thank you, Father, for the shed blood of your Son, Jesus. And I thank you, Father, that by Jesus' stripes we are healed. Father, I know you exhort us to pray for all kings and rulers, and I especially want to lift up President Trump. He is our president, and I know your word says that you set up kings and you put down kings. And Lord, I believe you set him up as our president. And Lord, I believe you command us to pray for him, and that's what I'm doing right now. I thank you, Father, for putting a hedge around that man. I thank you, Father, for angels that take charge over him. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Lord, for leading him in a path that's pleasing to you. And I thank you, Father, for ordering and directing his steps. I pray, Lord, that you strengthen him in his inner man by your spirit with power and give him the faith to overcome all the wicked spirits coming against him. I bind all the hindering spirits that come against him, especially those of those witches that have stood together to try to bring him down. I resist that with my faith in the name of Jesus, and greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Father, I just thank you, praise you, worship you. I pray, Lord, for all my friends, family. I ask you to bless them all. Lord, another thing, too, that God's taught me to do is instead of bless, asking him to bless me, I ask him to bless my customers. Because when he blesses my customers, it usually brings blessings for me. And so that's, that's the way Job prayed, and that's what turned his captivity. So, Father, I want to pray for all my customers, all my friends, my family, Bless them in Jesus' name. Father, I want to thank you again for coming the opportunity to come out here in the forest and seek you. I thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen.